Hello everyone, welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. Today we will learn about BIOS through this BIOS editing course. Please note that this course is specially made for laptop technicians who have a basic knowledge of laptop motherboard chip level services. First, BIOS. What is BIOS? BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. It is a set of instructions called a program which is stored in a small memory chip on the motherboard. It is used to provide runtime services for operating systems and performs hardware initialization during the booting process and this process is called the POST which is power on self test. If the computer does not pass the POST, we can hear a combination of beeps, beep sounds indicating what the malfunction in the computer is. Here are some main functions of the BIOS. POST POST tests the computer hardware and makes sure that no errors exist before loading the operating system. Bootstrap Loader Bootstrap Loader locates the operating system. If a capable operating system is located, the BIOS will pa pass control to it. BIOS Driver Low level drivers that give the computer basic operational control over your computer's hardware. BIOS Setup or CMOS Setup the CMOS setup works on configuration program that lets you configure hardware settings including system settings such as date, time and computer password. Now we we'll learn about the history of BIOS. What was the first BIOS? The first BIOS was developed by Gary Kildall and included in the CP-M operating system in 1974. Kildall coined the term BIOS to describe a part of a machine that loads at boot up and communicates with other hardwares in the machine. Here are some popular BIOS vendors. What is firmware? Firmware is data which is stored on a computer's ROM or in other hardware devices is ROMs that provides instructions on how that device should be operated. Unlike normal software, firmware cannot be changed or deleted by any end user without special programs and remains on that device whether it's turned on or turned off. Now we'll learn about BIOS chips. The motherboard BIOS is stored in a chip on the motherboard. The BIOS chip normally comes in the form of a rectangle. Now we learn about the types of BIOS chips. There are two types that are major here. So the PLCC which is called the plastic leaded chip carrier and the DIP which is dual inline package. Please note that the size of the BIOS chip has nothing to do with its performance. The choice or type and size of the BIOS chip is a matter of economics and requirements rather than performance, which means that the size does not say about the performance of the chip. What is a PLCC? PLCC stands for Plastic Leaded Chip Carrier. It is a surface mount device package type. It is used it is used for old main boards. It has 32 pins and a beveled edge that serves as a marker. Here are some types of PLCC packages. PLCC BIOS chips are not used in laptop motherboards but are used only on desktops. Please go through the pictures on each slide to understand the concept better. 
Now, what is dip? Dip means dual inline package. Dip is an electronic component package with a rectangular housing and two parallel rows of electrical connecting pins. Usually, dip is referred to as a DIPN where N is total number of pins. Now let's see some examples of dip to understand it better. BIOS chips with DIP8 configuration are mostly used for current mainboards. The chip has 2 into 4 pins and a marker in the form of a notch. Now let's see some other examples of DIP. The first one here is SOIC8 slash SOP8 package which is 200 mil and SOIC slash SOP small outline IC or package. These are used in notebooks or motherboards. They have a 2 to 4 pins and in most cases they are soldered on the motherboard. They have a marker on pin 1. This next one is the same as the other one but it is 150 mil. These are used in current notebooks as embedded controller which is EC BIOS or keyboard controllers KBC BIOS. It has 2 into 4 pins and are smaller than SOIC 8 200 mil. SOIC 16. These are mostly used in Lenovo and HP devices. They have a 2 into 8 pins and a marker on pin number 1. TSOP package. These chips are common in older notebooks. This package is available with different numbers of pins. Example TSOP32 having 2 into 16 pins, TSOP40 having 2 into 20 pins, TSOP48 having 2 into 24 pins. WSON package. WSON is plastic small outline no lead package defined by gedec.dmb slash pwson. It is often used on Apple Logic boards. The programmable EC. These days, programmable I.O. chips are present in laptops. Now we learn about the BIOS chip sizes. How do we identify the size of the BIOS chip? To identify the size of the BIOS chip, we need to first learn some basic mathematic calculations and understand the theory of BIOS chip language. BIOS chips can understand only machine languages and these machine languages are called binary. But we can only understand the decimal. So, it's very important to understand the difference between binary, decimal and hexadecimal numbers. BIOS programs are written using C programming, assembly languages or others. The binary numbers. Binary is a numbering scheme in which there are not only two possible values for each digit, 0 or 1 and is the basic for all binary codes used in computing systems. Binary system is the primary language of computer system. 0 and 1 are also called base 2 system. Here 1 refers to on or true while 0 refers to off or false. These are some binary numbers and they are called digits or bits. Now let's understand the difference between a bit versus byte. In computer systems, a binary number consists of a series of 8 bits. This series is known as byte. Generally, they are calculated as below. 1 bit is equals to 1 out of 8 byte, where 1 is number of bits and 8 is the standard of byte. For an example, look at the following table. So the first set of zeros and ones make 8 bit which is equal to 8 by 8 which makes 1 byte. 
The second one has two sets of the same type, which can be written as 8 into 2, which is 16 bit, which is 16 out of 8, which means 2 byte, and so on. Note that in BIOS chips, the number of bit will be mentioned and we need to convert them into number of byte to calculate the BIOS file size. This is how we can apply bits and bytes in our BIOS chips. Decimal numbers. The decimal system is called the Hindu Arabic number system and this is also known as the positional num numeral system in mathematics. The decimal numbers employ 10 as the base and require 10 different numerals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. The hexadecimal number system. Hexadecimal system is the name of the numbering system that is base 16. This system has numerals 0, 1, 2, 3, so on until 15 which means that two digit decimal numbers 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 must be represented by a single numerical to exist in this number system. This basically means that 0 to 9 can be written as numerals but from 10 to 15 which are two digit numbers need to be represented by single numericals in order to be existing in the number system. So to address the two decimal values, the alphabetic characters A, B, C, D, E and F are used to represent these values in hexadecimal and treated as valid numerals. Here is a chart showing the binary, decimal and hexadecimal numbers. Here we can observe that the hexadecimal numbers remain as numbers until 9 and when they change into two digits they become alphabets from A to F which is from 10 to 15. That was it for today. Thank you so much for watching and please come back for more such videos in the future.